writing chemical equations and types of reactions. We're going to be looking at a number of chemical uh, reactions or types of reactions in this course, but we're going to focus on each one as an individual episode so we can just focus on one type of reaction at a time. The first one that we're going to be looking at is the synthesis reactions. These are one of the simplest to identify, okay, and the reason is, well, because you have two or more reactants that combine to form one new product, and that's really the key. So what you're looking for is in the product side, okay, so remember we have reactants in a chemical equation that produces some kind of a product, okay? So we have two or more reactants that will form only one product in the end, and that's a synthesis reaction, okay? So one of the simplest to identify. So let's uh, look at it in terms of, I guess, some kind of analogy using just common lettering. And we have here some kind of an X combined with some kind of a Y to form a combination of the two together. Okay, so they're the easiest to find because we start off, as we said, two or more reactants to form one final product. Okay, two or more to one. Okay. So let's look at some real compounds, real atoms. So we're going to write a balanced chemical equation. The key also is we're, we're not going to focus too much on balancing. We might just touch upon it uh, as an introduction, but uh, focus on balancing chemical equations from previous episodes, please. So we're going to balance the following chemical equation, the following reaction type. We have sodium and oxygen. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, as I've said, the, the most important thing to always identify your metal and your non-metal. And we know that in a synthesis reaction, somehow these two are going to come together to form one final product. And because you're combining a metal and a non-metal, you're going to be using the five-step crossover rule. Okay. So we're going to write the formula for the reactants. So start off with just writing out the reactants. And the reactants are as follows. Sodium and oxygen. And remember oxygen, oxygen is diatomic and that's why we don't write it down as just O, we write it down as O2. So now we want to figure out what will the product be based on these two reactants. Well,